Hey, boys and girls. It's time for Uncle Jay Explains the News. Now here's the guy who helps little minds understand big news stories, Uncle Jay. Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to a special episode where Uncle Jay explains the Jewish high holidays. The high holidays begin with the sounding of the shofar, the ram's horn. It kind of looks and sounds like something that was left all summer on the dashboard. It's sort of a Jewish version of a New Year's noisemaker, but it's much more Jewish because they've made it much harder to do. And so Uncle Jay's news word for this week is reflect. No, this is not about looking in the mirror to fix your hair or try on clothes or pop a zit. It's the high holidays, and it's time to look honestly at you and at the past year of you. Now, this is not to make yourself feel guilty and ashamed. You already have your parents for that. It's to help you reflect on your own behavior and to try to do better in the year to come. Okay, the first high holiday is Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. This is kind of like America's New Year, except instead of Ryan Seacrest, there's a rabbi, and he probably doesn't introduce Lady Gaga. Ten days later comes Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, and here's where stuff gets really serious. You really say you're sorry about the bad stuff you did, even the stuff you got away with, because there's, yes, even that one. Yom Kippur includes a tradition to not eat or drink anything during the entire day. This is called fasting, and the first time you try fasting, you'll think it should be called slowing because there's nothing slower than waiting for it to end. Some people say that the reason for fasting is self-punishment. Some say it's just to practice self-discipline, or it's to help us reflect on other people's suffering. Some people say it's just cheaper than joining Weight Watchers, but like all ancient Jewish traditions, Jews everywhere will either follow it or revise it or ignore it and be glad to give you excellent reasons why. Oh, and here's why the high holidays start at a different time every year. It's because the ancient Jewish calendar is very different from the modern one. The months are shorter, so there are 13 of them, and the Jewish New Year starts here. However, the Jewish calendar's leap year doesn't add an extra day. It adds an extra month every few years. And that's why the high holidays start just after or before the end or middle of late September or early October or not, except when they do. Kind of gives you a whiplash. And so the high holidays are a time when you should, on the less than perfect stuff that you've done, and Jewish tradition says this is when you should get yourself right with God about it, or at least with the people that you've done wrong. Ooh, bad grammar. Okay, Uncle Jay's year is off to a great start. Uh, well, let's see if this little song about Rosh Hashanah from Uncle Jay will make things better. M might make it worse. Jews and the Orthodox Reform Conservativa, Shema and the Torah and the Baby Circumciser, Blintz and the Bagels and the Blowing on the Shofar, there Rosh Hashanah. Ark and the Rabbi and the Talas and Yamaka, Shul and Shalom are crammed into the synagogue, Knish and the Kosher and the No No Ham and Chisa, there Rosh Hashanah. Okay, well, to see Uncle Jay's regular weekly episodes, check out UncleJayExplains.com, where every Monday, Uncle Jay explains the news. And remember, a great kid is great news. <laughs>